Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with Galactic Civilization 4 game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart a computer. Sometimes a simple restart takes care of the problem. So restart a computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to verify the game files. For this, go to Epic Games Launcher, go to Library. Now over here, you will find Galactic Civilization 4 game. Click on this three dot and then click on Verify and after the verification launch the game now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here and select the right operating system and then click on start search and then scroll down this is the latest driver click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now you will see this screen, click on agree and continue. And then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then click on next. And after the clean installation, restart your computer. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then go to the start menu, then click on settings. If you have Windows 11, then click on privacy and security. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security. So for Windows 10 users, click on update and security. For Windows 11, click on privacy and security, and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down. At the end here, you can see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Then click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Then click on add an allowed app. Then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder. So if it's in C drive, then open program files, select C drive, then program files, and then open Epic Games. And over here, you will find Galactic Civilization 4 game folder. Open that folder, select the game exe file, then click on open. Now, once the game is added over here, launch the game. Now, the next step is to launch the game using the exe file. For this, again, go to the game installation folder. So, wherever the game is installed, go to that folder, go to that drive. If it's in C drive, open C drive, then program files, then open Epic Games. Now, over here, you will find Galactic Civilization 4 game folder. So, this is just an example. So, open the game folder and then make a double click on the exe file and then try to launch the game from the game installation folder and then check also run the game as run the game and the epic games launcher as an administrator so when you're running the game as an administrator make sure that you're running the epic games launcher as an administrator too for this go to the game installation folder make a right click on the game select properties go to compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator put a check over here then click on apply okay now once you have set the game exe file as an administrator type in epic games launcher as an in the window search box then make a right click then click on open file location and then make a right click on epic games launcher then select properties again go to compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator so whenever you're running the game as an administrator, make sure that you always run Epic Games Launcher as an administrator. So otherwise you will receive this error code. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic cards. So if you have a laptop with a dual graphic card, make sure that you're run, running the game on the dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Now click on browse and again go to the game installation folder so open program files epic games and then open the game folder select the game exe file then click on add now once the game is added over here click on options select high performance then click on save now launch the game now the next step is to update your windows make sure that your windows is up to date this is important for this go to the start menu click on settings now click on update and security 
or Windows Update and then click on Check for Update. And once the update is installed, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to close all the overlay applications. So, if you have any overlay application running, so if you have Discord running, close Discord. Now, if you have GE Force Experience running, Close G Force Experience. So make sure that you close all the overlay application. Also close all the overclocking application. So for example, if you have MSI Afterburner, make sure that you close MSI Afterburner. Now if you have Reva Tuner running, make sure that you close Reva Tuner. So close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in Windows search box, then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Put a check over here first. And then cl click on disable all. In my case, this is grayed out. I already did it. So in your case, this will be highlighted. So put a check over here first, then click on disable all. Then click on apply, then click on okay. You will see the restart option, restart a computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Now you have to go ahead and download both x86 and x64 versions. So download, click on both the exe file one by one and run both the exe file. That is x86 and x64 version. Click on it. Now you will see the install option or repair option. So if you see the repair option, re click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow. Run the second file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Now, once the installation is complete, restart your computer. So you will see the restart option over here. So click on restart. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to launch the game in window mode. So if you are able to launch the game, then go to graphics settings. So launch the game and then go to graphic settings and then select window mode and lower down graphics settings. So if everything is set to ultra or high, you can select medium or lower performance and then launch the game. Next step is to disconnect multiple monitors. So if you have multiple monitor connected to the computer, try to launch the game on single monitor. Also unplug all the external devices. So if you have these devices connected to the computer, disconnect these devices also close all these software so if these softwares are running close this applic these application also end nahimic services if you have aces computer then make a right click on the start menu then click on task manager now if you find nahimic services running somewhere over here you have to go ahead and select it then click on end task now i don't have that service running so if you find this service running in task manager you have to go ahead and select it and then click on end task. Also, if you find lighting services in the task manager, select lighting services and close it. Now, if you have undervolted your hardware, make sure that you remove the undervolt and then try to launch the game. Last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to a different drive. So uninstall the game, delete the game folder, restart your computer, then reinstall the game to a different drive. So if you have another SSD or HDD, try to install the game to a different drive. So one of the steps should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.